Shalom, Apostle Tahak, and I'm at you once again with this truth. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, giving, it, giving a hearty shalom or shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work. Excuse me. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this one, Learn How to Be an Asshole, alright? Learn How to Be an Asshole, and that's a quote from a movie called Vanilla Skies, you should watch that movie starring um, uh, Tom Cruise, um, it's a good movie, spiritual movie. Because when it came out in the theaters, I said, I ain't going to see that. And then maybe a year, a couple years later, I um, rented it. That's when they had the, the different rentals, the Hollywood video, Blockbuster. That's back in that time when you used to go and rent um, DVDs. It was actually a DVD. So I rented it, you know, and I rented a couple other. You get the deal, you buy three, you get a better deal. So I got maybe two more movies besides that when I saw it and I got all into it, right? And I said, I said, this is a good movie. It's a good movie, very spiritual movie, you know? <clears throat> but in the movie, Tom Cruise played an individual, I forget his name. His father owned a, uh, I, I believe it was a, a magazine or TV guide or whatever. So it was a major company and his father died and he took over they had they had uh among the the, the ceos the top of the, co of the 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 company you had these um edomites i think six of them were edomite men and one was an edomite woman and they were old they came up with his father and uh they behind his behind his back they would they would you know talk shit about him and there was this one guy an English guy he 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 was um he was like a colleague he was he was part of the company I forget his position but he was close to uh the Tom Cruise character and he loved the Tom Cruise character you know and he saw what was going on and he told him he said them them people are plotting plotting against you because his father owned uh, 51 percent, or more than 51 percent of the uh, of the company or the corporation. So they basically wanted to get get rid of him. He said, "Man, we remember this kid, you know, down the hallway on a skateboard, and we got to respect this guy." And this guy was, you know, he's in the woman fast cars. You know, he, he he would come to work late and all that. You know, he was living he was living a life. He would, even in the movie, I think. He said, living the life, baby, living the life. But you got to see the movie. It's a good, you'll get into the movie, all right? And it has a spiritual aspect to the movie, too. Very deep spiritual movie. Um, anyway, the guy said, look, they're talking behind your back. You know, they're saying this about you. They're saying that about you. They want to they wanna get you out of there, you know? And then what the dude said, he said, he said, you know, you got to, he said, he said, America's going to, going to, going to read again, to read these magazines, because they were losing, uh, you know, the, the company was kind of going down, so they had to build it back up. But he, he, he was supposed to be the captain of the ship, right? So the dude said, he said, you know, we got to get, get, you know, get things rolling again, you know, get that passion back. And he said, um, basically, he said, he said, and I quote, he said, he said it this way, he said, learn how to be an asshole. And as soon as he said that, I knew exactly what he meant. Meaning, if you want things done, the nice guy, Eddie approach is not going to always work. You could be a nice guy. I'm talking about in this work, I'm dealing with this work, dealing with the work right now. You can be a nice guy, but sometimes you got to be an asshole. You got, you... Look, you have different levels 
in this truth. Not everybody's going to come in on the same level. You got guys that are on fire. You got guys that, that um, the scriptures speak about. I'm not going to go into that scripture, all right? Because I got, what, what, about five or six scriptures set up anyway. I don't want to make this too long. <clears throat> the scriptures speak about uh, some, I believe it's in Matthew 13, um, talks about the, the seed seed falling on stony ground and uh, the, the seed uh, falling by the wayside. Um, then you have seed that fall on, on, on um, you know, fertile ground and begins to grow. Keyword grow. And when that seed grew into a plant, which we had those seeds that grow into plants, um, it says the Lord, the Yahweh Shai said, we were going to give off, we we're going to get fruit. And it said some, some 100 fold, I think it said some 30, 100 fold, six, some 60 fold, some 30 fold. So you got guys in this thing that are on the 100 fold level. You got other guys that's on the 60 fold level. You got other guys that's on the 30 fold level. You know, they get that working, but they're not on the level of a hundredfold guy. And you see, and that's in every camp. That's in every camp. You got guys on, that are on fire. You got guys that are so-so in the middle. Then you got lukewarm guys. And, and the Lord hates a lukewarm brother. That's why he made the statement that he, that's why he said what he said in um, uh, Revelation, the third chapter. He said, because you're not hot or cold, neither hot nor cold, because you are lukewarm, I will spew, the word spew means to spit. Like if you taste something that's bad, you, you quickly spit it out your mouth. You don't say, well, I don't know, it tastes funny, but let me keep eating it. No, you spit it out of your mouth. It's a bad taste in your mouth. So that's what the, mo the, the Lord meant by that, man. And the Most High is gonna spew more so-called brothers out of the truth. Now the reason why I call this learn how to be an asshole because you brothers that are on that level, you know the guys who, who, who's dragging their feet? Who you gotta damn near beat the shit out of them, excuse my French, to make them do a video. I put an uh, 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 order out there that everybody in GMS, and I said guys that's been in this thing for a year, because if you've been in this thing for a year and you're still trying to figure out what you gotta do, man, you don't need to be up in here, man. You don't need to be up in the circle. And I'm going to say this too, man. Don't be doing no damn news article things with no goddamn crackers, man. Oh, another thing, man. That coming out coming out here to visit the, 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 the apostles, that's, that's, we ain't going to do that no more for a while. That's suspended, man. And when it kicks, kicks back in, the only ones that's going to come out are the, are the heads, man. Maybe the, the, the first in command, the second in command, the third in command. Maybe the fourth. Maybe the fourth and the fifth. You ain't bringing out your Aunt Betty and, and JoJo and Uncle T. And your cousin Laquita. That's, that's out, man. The only ones that's gonna come up in here, but it's suspended. The only one, so the so the you brothers that made a plan to come out here, hey, I'm sorry, man. That's how it is, man. You know the orders, <laughs> the order then went down. You got to deal with it, baby. Until things, you know, get straight. Because right now we're in the house cleaning, man. You got a lot of guys with their hands in their pocket. You got a lot of guys looking up, don't know what the hell you tell them to pick up a sign, they pick up the wrong sign, then they will get the right sign, the sign is upside down. They want to go to the bathroom all the damn time. If you ain't on fire, don't be in this thing, man. And we're going to start cutting guys too. Just like in football, right? Alright, this, this is an article, it says uh, outcast. NFL wife goes off on Twitter again after Dolphins cut her husband. I'm not going to read the whole story. 
Okay, it says on Wednesday the Miami Dolphins released a cornerback, Brent Grimes, a move that was expect expected and had the expected effects on his wife. Now, why did his wife go off? Because she go she she ain't gonna get them goodies. When you get a contract with the NFL, you get a, you get you get you get millions, man. If you're an NFL player on any team, you get millions. They're millionaires, man. So they get the little trophy wife, and the reason why she's with you, she probably came up with you in, in uh, high school and college, high school sweetheart and all that. But she stayed with you because she knew you were going to do big things, and you're going to bring them goodies in, all right? And you guys out there, don't, don't, don't get it twisted. You guys that are into a lot of money and you've got... A woman or more than one woman, man. And um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean she's with you because she loves you, man. She loves what you got. All right? She loves them goodies. So she lost it, man. But now why did this guy... I don't have to go into the story. You've seen movies on this, man. This happens in real life, man. Being cut from a team. They'll bring you in the office. And, and your lock, the lock is in the back, right? Your name is, is your name is on the locker, right? They give they have that meeting, then they'll tell you that you that you cut from your team. They'll you know, give you a little story, they'll hug you and all that, and then you come in there and you go you get your shit from the locker, and your name ain't no. They pull your name out, you know, you get your stuff, <laughs> and then they pull the name out, right? Then they put somebody else's name up in there. Now why 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 do they do that? Because you you haven't you haven't made the cut, so to speak. You know, you, you, you haven't, you, you haven't, you know, they, they expected big thing from you. And you might have been good for, for two years, three years. And you, then they realize, they, they analyze everything, man. They analyze everything. And then these guys even quote scriptures too. All right? So anyway, we're in the housekeeping, learn how to be an asshole. I'm going to read some scriptures here. All right, I'm going to read Jeremiah 20, verse 7. It says, O Yahweh, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou, this, is, this is Jeremiah, of course. Thou art stronger than I, I, has, I and have prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me. So we're being mocked. You got the scorners that come on there talking shit. You know, you got these guys from the uh, Alpha and Omega crew. Led by James uh, White coming up against us, all right? So we're in the, the, the derision daily, man. And another thing, you got a lot of you guys that stay behind the camera, man, because you're ashamed of the gospel. And the most, I'm going to get rid of you, man. If you were a leader in a camp, you're supposed to be on the forefront, man. What you think this is a game? verse for since for since I spake I cried out I cried violence and spoil because the word of the most high was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily so you know Jeremiah was having second thought first of all he told the most high I ain't ready to do this I'm too young most I said look you're gonna you're a prophet of the Lord you're gonna have to go out there as a young man and you have to deal with these these deep demon-filled Israelites. And they did some things to him too and he had to endure them. Um, ninth verse. Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name. What is the Mosai's name? What is the Mosai's name? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not no goddamn a higher by Hashem Yishaya. The Most High is going to destroy the GOCC. And that knows Jesus the Christ. The Most High, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is going to destroy the um, I, um, IUIC. The Most High is going to destroy the ISUPK and all the rest of you damn demons, you reprobates. It says, uh, then I said, and let, let, let me say this here, man. This clown, General Yohanna, you know what the Alpha and Omega...